is Black Belt MMA, and I'm Spencer Martin today, bringing you a video about Justin Gaethje and Max Holloway upcoming fight at UFC 300. We're going to be rating these fighters based on their striking and their power and a couple other things. Now let's get right into it. Justin Gaethje has good striking, he punches hard, and he's always moving forward when he's fighting. We're going to give Justin Gaethje's striking ability a 94. Max Holloway, on the other hand, is the self-proclaimed best boxer in the UFC, and we all know he throws high volume combinations, and he's striking to get that knockout. We're going to go ahead and give Max Holloway a 97 here and give him the upper hand. Now we're going to be discussing the power. Justin Gaethje is possibly the most powerful lightweight in the entire division. Many people who have fought him said that there's nobody in the division that hits as hard as he does. And with that being said, we're going to give Justin Gaethje the 97 for the power. Like I mentioned earlier, Max Holloway is a very high volume guy. He can knock you out, but we're going to go ahead and give him an 89. Now let's discuss the grappling. Both of these guys, straight up, they're not the best grapplers. They obviously could kick my ass, but that's for another day. They're good when it comes to grappling defense, but not really offensive. They're not really going to go for the submission that many times. But with that being said, I'm going to have to give the upper hand to Gaethje there. We're going to give Justin Gaethje an 86, and we're going to give Max Holloway an 85. Now let's discuss just the wrestling. Gaethje was actually known as a wrestler in his high school, and he was a phenom. With a record of 191 wins and 9 losses. But his college experience was not the best, to say the least. But that's for another day. We probably won't see him wrestle much in the fight anyways, let's be honest. But we would also have to give that slight advantage to Justin Gaethje for the wrestling as well. We're going to give Gaethje an 88 and Max Holloway an 85. Now, when we're discussing the submissions, I do believe that Justin Gaethje does not have the upper hand. Max Holloway has two wins in the UFC by submission, which I know is not a lot. But Justin Gaethje does not have any wins by submission in the UFC. I would have to give Max Holloway the 87 here for submissions and Justin Gaethje the 85. Now let's get into the fun part, the cardio. Justin Gaethje is a dog. He will fight you to the end. We all know that, okay? That guy has an indomitable will, maybe sometimes too good for his own. There is some moments in his career where he has gassed out when he's fighting, but he's still coming at you punching hard. It's clear that he's worked hard with his coach Whitman over time to be able to preserve his gas tank and understand his emotions throughout the fight. On the other hand, Max Holloway's cardio may be his biggest tool. He never gasses out. The only time I've ever seen him gas out was against Dustin Poirier, and he was still fighting hard. So I don't really know if you can even call that gassing out. He still landed 24 significant strikes in the fifth round. We have to give Max Holloway a 99 here, and we're going to give Justin Gaethje a 93 for his cardio. Now we're going to discuss the chins of both of these guys. These guys both have some freaking steel jaws, okay? They've taken some serious damage that I don't think many people could have. Justin Gaethje has suffered two knockout losses in his career in the UFC, but even though besides that, it can happen to anybody, right? We're still going to give Justin Gaethje a 94 here. Now, on the other hand, we have Max Holloway, the guy who has never been dropped in the UFC. That guy's chin is freaking unreal. We're going to give Max Holloway a 98, but guess what? That 98% chin is going to take the biggest test of its life here coming soon. Let's get into the footwork for both of these fighters. I like how Trevor has improved Justin Gaethje's footwork. He used to fight like a pure brawler, but now he uses his leg kicks and he's able to understand distance more to be effective and create different positions to take shots. On the other hand, Max Holloway has beautiful leg kicks and he's always thrown high volume, as I had said earlier. We're going to give Justin Gaethje a 92 and Max Holloway a 95. Now let's talk about the fight IQ between both of these guys. Now we can all agree that Justin Gaethje does not have the best fight IQ. He goes all in or nothing, which doesn't really make sense, but I guess, you know, when you have that much power. And as I had mentioned earlier, his coach Whitman has definitely helped him to be able to control himself as a better fighter and he's more comfortable out there. He's not going as crazy as he used to. We're going to give Justin Gaethje a 92 here. Now let's talk about Max Holloway. He's had a few puzzles in his career, but his fight IQ is still very high. He understands positions, he creates openings, and he has beautiful combos. So we're going to have to give Max Holloway here another upper hand at 96. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe to see more content coming soon. And comment down below, what do you guys think is going to happen between these fighters at UFC 300?